<laughs> hey y'all um i know y'all gonna get tired of me doing videos in bed but i keeps it real no fancy youtube opening today um it's december 30th and i am 11 days post-op um since i started my liquid diet um on the 5th of December I'm down 32 pounds um 10 pounds being within the last week and um I'm still having a lot of pain in my side so I'm really just trying to take it easy um hence me being in bed um and still on pain medicine which causes the most terrible constipation um you know i don't care about tmi so um yeah i am just trying to rest get more rest than normal especially since i go back to work in a couple days um I am, ooh, my skin looks good. I am still doing my liquid soups, my liquid diets. I'm sorry, I seriously have not slept since Thursday, and it's now Saturday. Um, I don't know why. I, well, the pain is keeping me awake, but um, I am still on my liquid diet, but I've been making my soups now instead of doing um canned soups just because the sodium was getting way it was way too much sodium and i was swelling up in all my fingers my legs my feet and it was starting to really hurt um and i would have to drink more water the sodium dehydrates you but then i would also have to drink more water to try to flush it out and then take my um, diuretic and all of that was just leading me to um, a lot of dehydration and that of course makes your constipation worse, worse. it makes you lightheaded dizzy um, everything that's not fun that goes along with being dehydrated so I am now making my own soups um, which it's insanely easy I am such a chop I call it chop and plop which is where you just take different things chop it up put it in a pot plop it in a pot and let it go let it simmer um, and I've been doing the a lot of soups I made a stock for my soups um, with just chicken and a whole bunch of herbs and spices and vegetables and then I strained it and then I used that broth for my broccoli and cheese soup for my um, split pea soup and I'm gonna use it for my sweet potato soup any kind of soup that I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna use that broth, be broth because it's more flavorful than um, the sodium free broths are disgusting so that broth has more flavor and I can control how much sodium goes into it. I know what's going into it. I know it's fresh ingredients um, and it hasn't been sitting on a store shelf for, you know, since 1962. So I am still getting in my protein. I get about 90 grams of protein a day. Um, my water intake has cut back so far. Um, I drank 64 ounces a day but I'm used to drinking a gallon a day but it's just so hard to get that much water down when you're on a liquid diet and everything you're drinking is liquids so um, I'm surprised my skin still looks good because I have cut back so much water um, because again that's how I keep my skin clear I drink water non-stop I drink about a gallon a day um, and overall just I can feel the difference in my body um, I my stamina's up well before I had the pain 
um, I can walk further in stores. Um, I used to have to take breaks in stores and sit down by the pharmacy areas or, you know, anywhere where I could sit down, I used to have to take breaks. And now I can walk um, with ease. I still have, well, no, the only pain I have is, again, the side pain. So that kind of slows me down from walking too far without a buggy. But I'm able to stand um, a lot longer than what I used to. Um, and so far, um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm doing great. Um, my go for my follow-up visit next week. And hopefully I'll be down some more. Or I will be down some more. And... I'll update you guys when I go to work um, Tuesday to see how that plays out because um, I'll be actually in the office that day um, but overall I'm excited I'm really excited to finally start seeing changes and my body just feels different um, yeah I'm, I'm really excited to see where this goes and to see the progress so that's it that's my short video um, I'm going to go to sleep because pain medicine's kicking in and I will update you guys again later peace